Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to create and change groups and group types. If you've been using Studio One for a while, you may already know that you can create temporary groups by holding down Shift on your keyboard and clicking from the first track that you want to the last track you want. This will highlight them all and create a temporary group. But if you want to make things a little more permanent and link different features within those groups, Studio One has you covered. So let's dive into the DAW and take a look at how to create and change group types. So here we are inside of our session and you can see everything is pretty well arranged in the way that I would normally do things. Right here, as you're seeing, is one of those temporary groups and I'll show you how to do that really quickly. If I want to do all of my background vocals, I can click on the first one, hold down shift on my keyboard and click on the last one. It has now created a temporary group of these channels where I can grab one fader and they will all link and hold their mix proportionally as I go up and down to adjust these faders. What I can also do is simultaneously add a number of plugins to these channels or activate and deactivate the plugins that are already on there. So if all of these channels need some EQ, I can go in and just find our Pro EQ. And every channel within this temporary group now has the EQ plugin on it. Using temporary groups is especially handy if you go into one of these background vocals, set your EQ, maybe we'll do a low cut, and we'll do just a nice little mid bump. If I want this same exact settings across all of my channels, it's actually pretty easy. What I can do is make another temporary group, excluding the one that I've made my EQ changes on. I'm going to get rid of the blank Pro EQs, and it's gotten rid of all of them. Now I just click and drag, and every channel here has that same instance and same EQ move copied to all of the different channels. But these are temporary channels. What if we want to link all of our mutes and we want to remember this one in it, or we want to do a bunch of edits to this group. Now we can use the keyboard shortcut of Command and G or Control and G on a PC. To create this group, again, select the channels that you want to do and use that keyboard shortcut, Command G or Control G. This will make the dialog box to add the group pop up and you can name it whatever you want. In this case, it'll be my BG Vokes. Hit enter and there we go. You'll see a few things happen when you create that new group. First, by your faders, you'll see this little icon show up above your meter. This is telling you that it is engaged within a group. Then if you're not seeing it already, you can view all of your groups. And that's by coming over to this button on the bottom left. It's the same button that we saw above the meter on our faders. And this is the show groups button. With this engaged, you'll get this group area up here, and it'll show you all of your active and inactive groups. To quickly and easily activate or deactivate a group, Studio One already has some default keyboard shortcuts, and that's option plus the number across the top of your keyboard for the group numbers in particular. You can see right now I have group one inactive because this is all of my audio channels. But if I hold down option on a Mac or alt on a PC and hit one, it then activates that group, illuminates it, and now all of my channels are linked. So if I come here to this acoustic guitar and I hit mute, all of the channels within that group are muted. Because this is all of my channels, I wouldn't want to do that right now. This is just our example. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute. But maybe within your group, you only want certain things to happen. Maybe you do want your sends to be there. You want to be able to edit, but you need different plugins. And when you have your groups, you don't want to go in, disable, and then have to go in and re-enable. It, it's a pain. So what you can do is alter the group functions. When you're looking at your groups here, if you right click on any group, you get this pop up and there you can enable or disable any functions for that specific group. So right now we've selected our background vocals group. We can see that editing is linked. Volume on our faders is linked. The pans are currently not linked. Mutes and solos are, and you get the idea. Anything with a check mark is currently engaged for that group. With the release of Studio One version 5.2, within your temporary groups, you now also get the option of linking the pan. 
So when you make your temporary group, and let's say you want to do every other channel and have it panned to the left or right, you can go ahead and select it like this, and all of your pans will be linked in this temporary group. Then you can do the opposite for the ones you want going to the right. I'd love to show you right now, but I haven't updated to 5.2 yet. It is a function that is out there though, so make sure that you update. Let me show you some of those other things that are engaged within our group. We still have our background vocal group enabled, and I wanna just cut out all of this dead space before these oohs and ahs in this area here. So what I can do with my smart tool is just come up to one of them and make a cut. You can see how something like this can be handy when you're editing your multi-track drums. Group all of your drums together, and when you make a cut, it'll make that cut across all of the microphones on that drum set, and you'll be able to do any of your edits, keeping everything phase coherent. One last thing, when you're looking at your edit window the way we are now, you can still visually see if you have groups active or not. And that's by the track headers over here. Our background vocal group is still active, and there's this highlighted bar at the right of the track names. If I use the keyboard shortcut of Alt and 2, or Option and 2 on a Mac, I'm going to disable the group, and that highlighted area over here goes away. Turning it back on brings this highlighted bar back, showing you that the group is active. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.